Hey ho, my name is Mo. In this video I want to give you a short introduction to my Passive Excel tool Traxile. Traxile is a statistics and time tracking tool for all your in-game activities in Passive Excel. It offers you live and historic time tracking and also long-term statistics based on your Passive Excel client log file. First of all, let's see how you can download and install Traxile. For the download, visit the Traxile repository on GitHub. You can find the link in the video description. On the repository page, click on the latest release on the right and then download the setup MSI package. When the download is finished, just start the setup MSI. Do not worry about the Windows warning, the reason for that is that I'm not using a code signing certificate and because of that Windows is not trusting me by default. So you can just click on more information and then execute. Click on next. Just keep the default path here and click next again, next again and once the installation is finished, click close and you are done. Ok, now the Traxile is installed, we can start the application via the Windows application menu. So let's start Traxile and on the very first start, um, Traxile is asking you for the path to your client log file. In my case, this is located in the Steam library because I'm using the Steam version of, of Path of Exile. So click on the button, select log file, and then navigate to your installation directory of Path of Exile. In my case, it's Steam, Steam apps, common, Path of Exile, logs, and the client TXT. Here is it, and select it. Ok, what is happening now is that Traxile reads the existing content of your client TXT file line per line and calculates in-game events and statistics based on that. On the very first time, this can take quite a bit, but the startup will be much faster after that. So if Traxile is started, the main window is showing up and you are starting in the tracking tab. And the tracking tab is divided into two areas. There is the live tracking area on the left and the activity history to the right. And in the live tracking area there is the stopwatch which is showing the time in your current activity. So for example, if you're doing a map, it starts counting when you enter the map and it stops counting when you leave the map and so on. Below of that there is some information about area level, the area and um, the activity type. And below of that there is a list of tags. And tags are basically indicators, um, they show which type of content you encountered in your activity. So for example, if you had an expedition encounter in your map, this expedition tag will be highlighted. Or if you have a harvest encounter in your map, the harvest tag will be highlighted. There are a few more things you can do with tags and you can customize them or create own tags, but we will We'll cover this in a dedicated video because it's more advanced stuff. Okay, next we'll run some example map so that you can see the live tracking in action. Okay, let's enter a map. And when we enter the map, the stopwatch is starting in Traxile. And there's a blight encounter, and the blight tag is highlighted in Drexel now. And there's Aina, and the Aina tag is highlighted. When we leave the map for a trade or something else, um, the stopwatch is automatically paused, and if you re enter the map, it continues. Ok, let's say we are finished with this map, so we leave the map, the stopwatch is paused and we enter some new map. Ok, we enter the map and Traxile finishes the first map and starts a new activity. So 
The map is to the right in activity history now. You can find it there. Now that we saw the live tracking, let's have a look at the activity history to the right. So it's a list of activities we did in the past and every recorded activity is listed here. So um, there are some maps, there's a sanctum, there's a, a maven invitations, some campaign encounter in between and so on. And what we can do, we can select every entry, um, we can double click it and then we get some more information about this entry. So it was a MESA map, um, the time we did it, it was a T16 map, the stopwatch value, the death counter, and on the map we had the tags Aina, Blight and Sanctum. What we can also do in this overview is we can select multiple entries. So for example, this for Shaper, Guardian Maps and the Invitation. And then we click the summary button and then we get summarized information about it. So we have five, five activities, a total duration of 16 minutes and an average duration of 3 minutes and 21 seconds. We had four, four times Nico on it and below there is a table with um, some information per map type. So for example, we had one Maven invitation the total duration was 2 minutes 14, the average duration, because it was 1, also 2 minutes 14, and we had 4 maps, so the 4 guardian maps before the invitation, and they had a total duration of 40 minutes and 30 seconds, and an average duration of 3 minutes and 38 seconds per map. This can be useful if you are farming shaper guardians and you want to do some profit tracking. So you can combine this information, for example, with Exilence Next or tools like that. Okay, that's for the tracking page. Now let's have a look at the statistics tab. So the statistics tab, there are one, two, three, four, five, six subcategories, starting with the activity overview. And in the activity overview, you see simply how much time you spend in which activity type. So here that's very big part is the hideout time because a lot of idling maybe and 25% in maps, 6% in the labyrinth, 13% in the campaign and 8.5% in other activity types. So you can see a detailed list below of the pie chart. You can switch off the hider time here. So if you want to see it more granulated, then just um, hide the hider time or show it again. The next page in the list is the all stats page. And in the all stats page, there are simple numeric statistics like your death counter or how often you try trucks or even the area changes. So very simple numeric statistics and you can select every entry here and then you get this day-based statistic in the chart. So, and that's it, so you can have a small search, so maybe search for Atoll and then you see how many maps you finished in Atoll or you started in, um, in the Atoll area. Next to the All Stats page, there is the mapping page. And the mapping page is showing you some mapping statistics, like how many maps you did in which tier, so how many maps you did in tier 15, tier 16. Then your average time per map on tier. So how many time you needed in average for a T16 map or a T15 map. In the bottom left, there is a list of your top 10 maps. So my top map was Strand, followed by the Crimson Temple, followed by Dunes and so on. And to the right, your tagging overview, which shows you the, the top tag. So I had a lot of expedition encounters. I had a lot of Nico, followed by Harvest, Delirium, Blight Syndicate, and so on. The next two pages are nearly the same, but for Labyrinth and for Heist. And the last page here is your bossing overview, which simply shows you all the bosses in the game and how often you tried them and how often you killed them.
you maybe already noticed this filter bar on top. And with that filter bar, you can apply filters, which affects all the data in the tracking and the statistics subs. So for example, um, let's say we are only interested in data for the current league. So we can go to time range filter and select the current league sanctum. And now we can click set filter. And then Traxile is filtering all the data for the Sanctum League. So all data here is for the Sanctum League. And all data which is now in all stats is also for the Sanctum League. Yeah, that's a lot. So difference with the all filter or without the filter. Let's click reset. We're seeing all the data Traxile has. And also say, let's say we want to see all the last seven days, set filter. And then we say in the last seven days, for example, I did 186 maps in tier 16 and the activity overview and so on. So that's what you can do with the filter bar here. For the remaining two tab pages, I will keep it really short because I will do a separate video for that. So there's the config tab where you can change the program settings and there's the lab farming tab, which is used by lab farmers where, you, where lab farmers can track the enchants they get and the profit and so on. But as I said, both tabs, the configuration tab and the lab farming tab will get a own video. Yeah, that's it for this first video. I would love it if you guys will give the tool a try. If you have problems, feature requests or other feedback, Feel free to contact me on Reddit. I will post the link in the video description. Thanks for watching. Bye.